Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to look at an important concept in Strapi, which is relationships. In my last video, where I gave you an introduction on how to use Strapi and how to use it for creating a public facing website, which doesn't have too many repeating contents, right? That thing did work because you know the focal works website which i portrayed in my last video you can find the link in the description below you would see that there is not too much repeating content except for the projects which we were supposed to build later on but then let's say if we have a requirement where you know the website wants to showcase shows tv shows right which has uh, seasons in it and each season has episodes to it correct so we have three levels of content in this scenario, how do we use Strapi to handle this kind of requirement? So let's first create the content types and then we will see how to you know, structure them. So I'll create my first content type. No, this is not the one, sorry. Create new collection. Okay, we'll call it shows. Shows will have a name. A description and what else yeah I think that's that's about it let me hit save the next thing is seasons a show will have multiple seasons season will have a name let's say a year what else let's keep a number field for oh, sorry. episode count okay we will keep this field in handy so that on front end if you want to show that as a computed field we don't have to always load up the episodes and do a length of that just you know, to have a little bit of ease so this is done now how do we relate seasons to a show so let's go back to our content shows in here we'll add one more field this time we will select relation relation refers to a collection type and yes what we have is a collection type so let's do that we see a widget where it says add new relation field fair enough in here you can select which relation you are referring to so now we are referring to season so it's the field name these are all relation types so you know has and belongs to one belongs to many what i am looking at is show has many seasons okay and let's hit finish do a save so when i go to shows i'll create a new show called the family man let me pick up some content from here just for the sake of demo save in here okay you can see i am getting a seasons drop down in here but i'm not able to select anything obviously because i haven't created anything so let's create a season season one year was 2019 how do we how many episodes do we have one two three four five six 10 so let's just enter 10 hit save now if you go to shows hit edit i can see season one is here i'll publish this okay and now it did automatically detected that one of your content relationships is not published yet it might endanger broken links do you want to still want to publish it let's do yes maybe and I'll go here it's still in draft I'll just publish that just to keep things proper okay now let's see what the JSON we are getting I'll have to go to roles go to public and I'll have to enable this permission so find find one on both seasons and shows let's just do that and then if I do shows oops that's a typo I can see I'm getting season one data which means 
actually add new season to 2021 episode 10 hit save publish refresh hmm? that's interesting yeah because i haven't related it so inside the shows if i go and add one more now if i refresh i get this right so we can see that the season information is here we have these two seasons coming here because we added them through our you know cms interface correct now this is only one level so we have shows and sh shows have seasons now let's try to add episodes to a season so we'll go to content builder again new collection episodes episode has a name it will ideally have a file or a video entity but right now we are not focusing on that it will have a description or maybe the plot let's just call that plot and runtime let's say in minutes something like that okay so i'll have integer do we have any other kind of field let me see date time hours okay time runtime let's just do that hit save new content type or collection type is created i'm so sorry because i have been using drupal a lot so i still refer it to content type because in drupal it's it's called content type but yes the, here it is collections so we have episodes as a collection and now seasons should have the relation of episodes and one season can have many episodes so let's just do that so now what do we have we have shows which has seasons seasons has episodes episodes obviously you know, it is independent now let me create a few ep episodes over here family man okay this is done let's add one more it's 47 yeah hit save and let's add one more to season 2 so I'll come over here season 2 okay it should have been published I forgot that so two episodes are here and then let's add one more save publish okay my bad this is 59 so i'll just add 0 59 okay so let's go to seasons season one the first episode that we want is the family man so obviously let's go over here the family man we need to add one more sleepers okay that's done and now if i go to season two exile save okay now let's refresh this page you can see nothing changed it's very important um let me you know just to make you ensure that you know, this is the case actually let's also expose these apis and what is going to happen is the shows is giving me the entire thing but it sorry shows is not giving me the entire thing I, I was wrong about it why because it gives me the object of the show and then it gives me season which is second level but then the third level is not here and now this is not a bug 
it's intentionally done so two i don't have if i do one shows sorry okay let me hit two again so it can't found can't find that one is here but you can see even there it is not showing me the data however if i do seasons and one you can see i get season data and then i get episodes which means if i do season two I get that one episode which we added but then what if actually I want to see that entire object for some reason and that's where with relations what Strapi suggests is that you use GraphQL now again I'm not very good with GraphQL I just tried basic things and I was able to figure that out so this is really not a 101 course on how to use GraphQL because I'm not an expert in that but definitely what I'm trying to do here is show you the basics on how you can get that information okay so that takes a little bit of time it took 77 seconds for me maybe because you know a different downloading is going on but anyways once the GraphQL is installed let me see if I can see that on my plugins page oh I haven't started it yet So strappy develop okay i'll hit refresh and yes we have graphql so we can see that the plugin is installed now they are saying this is the url where we will find graphql so this is the playground so i now although i i am not very you know as i said right I, i'm not very comfortable with graphql but i know basic things i think we start with a query like this okay so the and you will get a lot of things in here in terms of documentation on how you can write the query for example i can do episode i can do episodes you know, um, you know the schema are available but then i'll show you the basic things which i'm trying to get into so i have query and inside query i'm looking for seasons sorry shows so i'll do shows inside that you need to define which fields we are looking for so i'm looking for id i'm looking for name and what else year no let's look at the uh, docs so inside shows we have id name okay we have seasons obviously but the description so description is here if i run this you can see this is the basic thing now obviously we need the seasons so why don't we add that as well again which all fields do we need we need id we need name okay and the year if i run i'm getting that object as well and then inside seasons we have episodes so episode okay we need the episode count as well let's just keep that okay right it's showing something in red i don't know let me see that later but we have id and name run time something like that and if we now run that you can see we are getting the entire object correct and that's the beauty i think uh, there is a description as well or the plot yeah so with this in place using graphql we can pretty much get whatever you know we are looking for through other through the json thing and yeah as you can see it was so easy to set up this complex relationship inside strapi and then query that using graphql this is a list of shows and if you want again this is a little bit of graphql but id colon one and this becomes show i think that's how it was and now you get the show object which means 
if I do two, although we don't have any, it is always giving me a single object. Whereas if I do shows and then remove this part, you will see it has an array because you know, we are expecting shows. So yes, um, that's typical GraphQL. But there we have seasons, we have two seasons. Inside first season, we have multiple episodes. Everything is available for us in whatever format we want to. So yes, that's about it guys. That's how we create complex relationships in Strapi and then create the API through which you know, this information can be pulled out. I hope you like this video and you are clear on how to do things. If you have any questions, drop a comment and I'll be very happy to help you. If you like this video, do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.